What's up guys? So I wanted to show you how to make trap hi-hats today. So I have an RMB type trap that I made here. It's missing hats and we're going to create them right now. Okay, so I'm really hearing a hi-hat on top of this trap. Now, there are different ways to make hi-hats. Obviously, you can drag samples in. Uh, you can play them in with MIDI. I want to show you guys the MIDI route here in Ableton. I'm going to make a new MIDI track. Now, I've already pre-made some instruments, some hi-hat instruments. Um, let see, hi-hat, Alina, what can I find you? There it is. Go really basic hi-hat, and I, I can show you guys some stuff that you can do to make it a lot more interesting. Okay, that was like messy, rhythmically, uh, but that's why they invented Quantize. So we're gonna go in here, gonna go Apple Shift U and get it, get into the Quantize window here in Ableton. You know, let's put, put it at 100%. Don't care about the endings of the notes, just wanna fix the starts on, yeah, on 16 notes for right now, at least. Okay, so here's what we have right now. Let's see if it's quantized correctly. <laughs> So, okay, so one of the first things that you learn about hi-hats is they pretty much keep the rhythm of a trap type song. And one of the things that really, really works because most trap songs are in four, four, as opposed to six, eight or other time signatures. So it is nice to bring in elements of other time signatures by playing with triplets. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna add some triplets to this pattern. <laughs> do the triplet pattern so you're you know if you're doing this at home gonna switch it to triplet grid um and immediately you're gonna see where you can put your hi-hats <laughs> One, two, three, five. Okay, there you go. Mm -mm. Triplets, triplets. Da, 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 right? Is that what I'm hearing? Cool, almost. Okay, all right, so we added a triplet. Okay, so here's another thing too that you need to know. Right now, if you look right here, I was pointed with my finger, you guys can't see that. So all of the velocity is the same because I played it like I do aggressively stabbing the keyboard with my claws. So you want to create some movement. So you want to kind of replicate a natural drummer, even though this isn't, you know, 808 type hat, you want to replicate what a drummer would do, which a human is not gonna play with the exact same velocity, you know, on every drum hit. So you want to try to have some variation. So for example, on this triplet uh, pattern right here, we can do something like like this, ta 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 ta, kind of build it up a little bit. You know, you know exactly. Okay, so and then another thing too is that playing with rhythm and playing with very small uh, rhythm rhythms like thirty second notes is a really really fun thing that you can do in trap hats, for example. And let's play with the velocity of this. Something along these lines, maybe. So it went ta 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 tra, And it created that, it's like almost a continuous thing, but you can still, you can still hear that it's separate notes going very, very fast. I would do little velocity variations all over this thing, like this. So, and you can hear the difference, you know, right here. It's 
all the same and it sounds kind of mechanical. And right there, it sounds more alive. So, okay, here's another thing you can do as well. Um, another thing we didn't talk about is pitch of hi-hats. So obviously everything has a pitch, including drums that don't sound like they do. So one little fun trick that I've discovered recently is putting little altar boy on hats. Um, now this does mess with the transients a little bit and I can show you guys how to fix that as well. But um, what it does is uh, playing with a formant on this uh, creates a really, really cool kind of pitch variation on the hats and it really just adds movement and life to them. I'm doing it kind of dramatically. To be honest, I wouldn't do it this dramatic. I would just do little things, like for example, listening to it with a track. Uh, got a little bit of a, a little bit of delay comp. Thank you very much. You know, we could start lower and go higher. Or that da -da -da, that could be dr dramatized, dramatized. Yeah, dramatized. Do something like this. So it does this. It kind of sounds very different and weird now, which, you know, just adds interest, adds a little ear candy. So, and I personally, I don't like a super harsh transient on hats it's not my style of production some people might like that uh but if you do need a little more transient after adding little ultra boy uh transient designer by uad is amazing just increase the attack of that and that will work quite well anyway and that's how you make trap hats